we've always produced confident students who have you know, strong Christian values. But over the last 10 years, we've started to um, you know, really rethink the way that we're educating children, um, particularly in this part of the world um, where uh, we have major issues to tackle. I think it's important that we start to raise leaders who will think about African problems and how they fit into the solution for that. The future lies with the, with the young people now. It lies with the youth. And we need to sensitize them to what their role in shaping the future should be. The amazing story of Alpha Beta started in 1988 when my husband, Reverend Samia Japong, and I co founded the Alpha Beta Montessori Learning School. This is where the story of Alpha Beta began 32 years ago. We started in the carport of our home, which was in fact a boy's quarters, with a round table with six chairs and six students. We got to the stage where parents, after they had done three years with us in the Montessori Learning Centre, they now had to go to the mainstream kindergarten. So the parents became very frustrated and then said, what is the point of getting the children up to this standard only to throw them back into mainstream? So please, you have to continue with them. Now, when you start the kindergarten, you have to go to the next stage, which is the primary. Once you're in the primary, you have to prepare to go to the next stage, which at that time was the JHS. From the JHS, we then decided that we wanted to branch out into the international curriculum. So we then set up the secondary wing of the school, which was, is the, the Alpha Beta Christian College. We went in stages, each stage more excellent than the previous stage. And the beauty of that motto of persevering to excellence is that you never reach the destination. It's not finite, because no matter how well we did, no matter how many levels we climbed, we still knew we could do better. We have structures in place to make sure that it's not just the school that's persevering to excellence, but the teachers also have to persevere to excellence. The parents also are encouraged to persevere to excellence. So when you, when you consider all those things, it's, it's no wonder that we have won so many accolades. Our vision is to raise leaders of tomorrow who will be part of the solution to our nation's developmental challenges. And not just our nation, but on a continental perspective too. And so to that end, we have to make sure that we have to raise children who have reached their full potential academically, but also have the values such as integrity, that are the marks of good leaders. It's not just about academic excellence. There's so much more than academic excellence. For example, there are the moral values. Now, we're a Christian school, and so we instill Christian values into our children. And that's very important. It's increasingly important in the kind of world in which we live. We have Friday worship and Wednesdays we have classroom worship. Now these times are very exciting for us, the students, because we get together and share stuff from the Bible, have praise and worship, and it just brings the school body together because you get to bond with other people 
share their experiences, their testimonies, and you also get to learn more about the gospel. And it's just a fantastic experience. We are pushing the boundaries of the teaching and learning experience out because we believe that children need to leave school not just with good A-level results or JHS results. They need also to have 21st century skills if they are going to make progress in this life. And so we added the Adinkra Hini Leadership Program to our repertoire. The Adinkra Hini Leadership Program encourages its students to embark on yearly projects. And when I was in ALP1, I got the opportunity to witness my seniors in ALP6 at the time embark on a project where they refurbished the school and built a playground for school children in Jakiti in the Eastern region. When I got to ALP5, I was motivated by the experience I saw, and I decided to make a donation to the Northern region, to an orphanage where I donated some stationery and clothes to them. What I love about Alphabeta is their holistic approach to education. The essential skills is an aspect of the Adinkrahini Leadership Program, where students are required to learn a basic essential skill. So for instance, um, changing a light bulb, or patching up clothes or even changing car oil. Um, I can definitely say that over the years of going through this program, I've become a more resourceful person. The Edin Krahena Leadership Program was designed to broaden our young leaders' knowledge of the world and expose them to a diverse range of experience and skills. We believe strongly that knowledge changes and technology has made it very easy for us to access knowledge. So what do students really need in the 21st century? They need timeless skills, so soft skills such as creativity, innovation, critical thinking, problem solving, entrepreneurship, leadership, teamwork. These are skills that in 20, 30, 40 years will continue to serve them well. We're particularly proud of our work experience program, where students are required on a termly basis to go out into the world of work and build their experience and their skills. We've had students go to hospitals, to media houses, to law firms, to embassies, to hotels, you name it. And they can do up to three weeks worth of work experience and they all come back with very exciting stories to share. As a student, one thing I cherished about Alphabeta's leadership program was the internship opportunities we had. I particularly had the opportunity to go to the Kolobu Teaching Hospital where I worked at the IT department. There, I got to understand how computer systems were very relevant in delivering healthcare. I would say my internship at the Kolobu Teaching Hospital greatly benefited me as I was able to gain valuable work experience and I was able to improve on my soft skills such as communication skills. There are a lot of careers that I could decide to go into but making that choice without any experience is sort of difficult because there are a lot of factors that go into play. But last year I had the opportunity of interning at Noguchi Memorial Institute of Medical Research and immediately I got there I knew that's what I wanted to do. Seeing how science was used to like practically advance human life and improve lives of people over the world was really inspiring and I knew that that's something I wanted to go into. I'm Nana and I've been in Alphabeta for about seven years and I've been able to firsthand witness the Alphabeta Leadership Program. With this I was able to have a market playground and curate businesses on campus. I was able to work with people with different skill sets, so I know how to communicate with them and get things rolling. I made a promise to myself and God that I own one of the largest advertising firms in the world. And with these skills, I'll probably be able to achieve that. The decision to introduce the Adinkrahini leadership program was a fantastic decision. Our children have been um, so uplifted in so many ways and even when they leave us, our alumni testify to the fact that in addition to the academic um, skills they learned, the Adinkrahini leadership skills which they learned, the entrepreneurship skills, the problem solving skills, the critical thinking skills, are what has actually helped them in their universities. There's more to school, there's more to your child's development and your child's contribution as a leader than examination grades. And I, I think that's quite a turning point as far as parents are concerned. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, the, the non-academic skills are actually right. more important uh, in a lot of respects than um, just academic grades. So I think the future is exciting 
Uh, we're hoping that some of the leaders we raise here will go on to become some of Africa's biggest leaders, solving some of Africa's biggest challenges. Amen. As part of the journey, Alpha Beta has always been sensitive to the needs of the time. And in this regard, we have decided to introduce the international curriculum to the primary school as well, so that we will have a uniformity in terms of the kind of curriculum that we're offering from the preschool all the way to the sixth form. Never in my wildest dreams, as I sat under the carport with my six students, did I think that Alpha Beta would one day be an award-winning school catering for children from 18 months to 18 years. It is only when I look back now that I realise that every time we sought to improve, and indeed we were very proactive in assessing and improving what Alpha Beta was offering, and every time we did that, we produce growth. And we are still growing, very much so. It is only perseverance and the grace of God which have brought us to this point. Thank you, Lord.